What's up guys, it's uh, Underdog, and as you can see right now, I am in the car driving home from a baseball game, and, uh, but we're not talking about my baseball game, we're talking about a different baseball game, the one that actually matters more, and that would be the baseball games of the Chicago Cubs. So I was driving home and I thought, hey, you know, Cubs game is on nothing else interesting on the radio i've listened to all my podcasts might as well give it a listen so i turn it on jake garriott is starting of course uh you know i i still have fond memories of watching jake garriott in 2015 2016 the way he was just dominating the league and i don't think we win the 2016 world series without jake garrietta so i will be forever grateful for his contributions but Within, I think, eight pitches in the game, he gives up a double, a hit by pitch, a single, and a grand slam. And uh, this is just not acceptable. The Cubs have lost 10 straight games, and they're probably going to lose 11 straight games at the time that I'm recording this video. Um, and this is not supposed to happen to a team like this when you have Chris Bryant and you have Anthony Rizzo and you have Javier Baez and Wilson Contreras and Jock Peterson and Ian Happ. All those guys should be producing runs and you have a starting rotation of Kyle Hendricks and Zach Davies and Adbert Alzali and a bullpen with Craig Kimbrell and Andrew Chafin. I don't understand why we can't win one out of 11 games. It's just ridiculous. And this team is is done. You know, this, is, this next month of July is probably going to be an emotional one for Cubs fans because this is really the last time that we're going to have that core 2016 championship team all really on the same team. You know, we might end up keeping Rizzo or keeping Chris Bryant, or please, God, no, let us not keep Javier Baez. But it, it, he he might end up staying, but I doubt that all three of those guys are staying. I doubt that Wilson Contreras is going to be here by the end of next year. Um, and it's just, it's sad because we thought this team was going to be so much better. And, uh... You know, right after winning the World Series, it just all started to go downhill, started snowballing. And uh, now we're a team that can't win games at all, you know. And they've they've shown flashes of greatness throughout each of the last five years. Uh, you know, this up until this losing streak, we were in first place in this division. And it's a, it's a weak division in the NL Central. You definitely think that you can win this division, but... This, is, this team has also shown the capability of doing stuff like this, where they forget how to hit even when pitchers are no longer using sticky stuff and strikeout rates are down all across the league, and yet some reason the Cubs just continue to strike out. They don't learn. They don't adapt at the plate. And uh, I don't know if this is a flaw in the players or if it's a flaw in the coaching that the coaches can't communicate what they need the players to do and this has been like I said a problem for the last five years is that they've had this all-or-nothing approach uh, and you know Javier Baez is kind of the poster boy of this you know the home runners strike out but it's really the entire team that does this and uh, it, it might be on the general management as well the front office for not seeing this flaw in these guys because again like I said all these guys are really talented they just can't put it all together and uh, this is the result you know and uh, don't even get me started on Jake Garriott because I, at this point he's done you know like I said at the beginning I, I'm glad for what he accomplished with the Cubs but his time is up and he's not a major league starter anymore and uh, let's not even keep this charade up until the trade deadline. Let's just get him off the team right now. I'm done. I'm sick of this losing. It's frustrating as a fan, you know. 
and not every, you're not going to win every game. I, I get that. That's that's how baseball is. But losing 11 straight games with a team this good is just unacceptable. It can't happen. And uh, there's some sort of failure within this organization that caused that to happen. Uh, I don't know what it is, but it needs to change. So those are some thoughts that I have. Uh, I'm going to be making a more in-depth video about my frustrations with this team in a couple of days. But I just figured I'd get this out right now. I need to get it off my chest uh, because, I, quite frankly, I'm angry. I, you know, as a fan, I can't put up with this anymore. And I need to call it out when I see bad play and bad management and bad coaching and not living up to expectations. So that's that's really all I have for right now. I hope you guys uh, found this somewhat interesting if you're not a Cubs fan and what it's like to feel the pain of being a Cubs fan. Or if you are a Cubs fan, obviously you can relate, relate to this. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this, and I'll see you in a couple days for a full-on rant video. Hope you guys are excited about that.